can't get there any other way, folks. Jesus is the only way. And I'm talking about Jesus, the holy, spotless Lamb of God. There's many Jesuses that people believe in. But the Bible describes Jesus as the Son of God who paid the penalty for your sin. He took the payment of your sin upon Himself on that cross. And then He died and rose again, proving that God accepted His offering. You need to turn from your sin and put your faith in Him. There's no other way to heaven, folks. You can't get there through the writings of Joseph Smith. You can't get there through the teachings of Muhammad. You can't get there through the teachings of the Jehovah Watchtower. Only through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. And he's crying out for you tonight. You know, many of you people will not set foot inside of a church. God is coming to you tonight. God is on the sidewalks of Hollywood Boulevard telling you, he's explaining the truth to you. And if you stand before him that day of judgment and try to act like you don't know, if he has to, he'll bring you right back to Hollywood Boulevard on Saturday, October 4th. And you will be without excuse. The gospel is extremely simple. Man complicates it, folks. The gospel is repenting, turning from your sin, and putting your faith in Christ. And the Bible says that if you do that, you'll have eternal life. Don't stand in your pride, folks. Don't stand arrogantly. We live in the United States, and we're proud of that. But listen to me. This United States is not going to be the same United States in the very near future. God is not happy with this country. We started as school districts in this country, and the only textbook they had was the Bible. Now you can't even take the Bible into class. They've taken the Ten Commandments, they've stripped them from all the government buildings, all the walls. The Bible says that you need to turn from your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ. We need to repent before God honors any of our prayers. We think this is a Christian nation, folks. 78% of this country says that they're, they're Christians, but the divorce rate is sky high, the murder rate is sky high. Something's wrong with that, folks. They don't understand what a Christian is.